Hello Techlinks, in this tutorial we will set up Tech locally with Docker and configure our first API on the Tech dashboard. To do that, we will need a Tech trial license key which can be obtained by going to tech.io and in the sign up button and under Tech on premise start free trial. Once you complete the start your on premise free trial form, you will receive a 14 day license key via email. Alright, so the first thing we'll do is look up the Tech Technologies GitHub account on Google. Once we get there, we will be looking for tyke-docker-simple-node-api uh, repository on here. We'll click on that. And under the code drop-down menu, we will look for the HTTPS link and copy that. We will then go to our terminal and you can navigate to whichever directory you would like this repository to live under and type get clone and paste the repository link there. Once the clone is done, we're gonna go ahead and navigate to the directory that was just created by the clone. And then we're gonna initialize the project by typing bash scripts init.sh. The initialization script will ask us to enter the type pro license key, so go ahead and paste it. Hit enter, and now type pro is configured. So I'm gonna go ahead and type clear. Now that the project is initialized, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the type folder in the current directory using Splunk. And what you'll notice is, this is a type pro Docker demo with a little bit of additions on top, which include the simple-api folder, .env, and docker-local.yaml. So if we drill down the simple API source and index.js, you'll see that here we are running a simple express API that listens on port 3030, and will return this, this JSON right here under slash user. And if we go back to the docker dash local, we'll see that we're just injecting some environment variables in here and setting up our simple API Docker container. Now that we understand what our simple API does, we're going to go ahead and start Docker. And we're going to use Docker to launch the containers for the simple node API as well as type. And to do that, we're going to navigate to the type directory and we're going to type in docker dash compose dash f docker dash compose yaml dash f docker dash local dot yaml up. And what this will do, it will fetch all the required containers and compile them so that we can run Tyke and the simple node API. Now that Docker is up and running, we're gonna go to Chrome, then we're gonna go to localhost common 3000. And now we are going to bootstrap our Tyke dashboard. To do that, we have to enter our organization name, Tyke Technologies, the slug will be take. Email will be saved at take.io. And we'll suggest a strong password. And now our tech dashboard is up and running. Now that the dashboard is set up, we're going to click on API, add a new API, and we're going to call it Hello World. And in here, we're going to change the target URL to host.docker.internal, colon 3030, configure our API, and if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we're going to change the authentication mode to keyless. Go ahead and save. Now our API is set up. If we go to Hello World, 
we can see that the link for our API is the following. So we'll copy that and we will open up Postman to test our API. We're going to create a new request and we're going to paste the link that we copied from the API gateway. We're going to also add user to the end of this URL to tell it that we want the user endpoint. Click send. And now you can see that we have received the JSON that we are expected to receive from the API. Now this is directed through the API gateway. If we change this to 3030 under user, we should be able to get the same exact result. And there you go.